Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about the new Guild Wars expansion, End of Dragons. They just showed off their first reveal. I'm going to have this video be kind of a summary of what has actually happened, but in the background we're watching the new trailer over here. But I'm going to give you guys like the too long, didn't watch or didn't read of it. But uh, I will have the sources down below just in case any of you guys do want to read up more on this. They did like a really long live stream, but I'm just going to go ahead and go over the highlights of basically what's to come with this expansion. So obviously there's going to be a new campaign and new story, but I was mostly interested in seeing some of the new skills as well as the new specializations, as well as seeing some of the newer things coming into the game. So here's just like a small trailer. It doesn't really show off too much unless you like pause and you know briefly like check out some of the environments as it will be like very like lush areas after you know hundreds of years have passed since like the original showing of the expansion uh in guild wars 1 which still is one of my favorite mmos of all time and if you guys haven't played guild wars 2 and this is like your first time checking this out you maybe followed me for another game um you guys can download Guild Wars 2 for free, um, and right now you can start working towards your precursor, which is going to be an item that's going to let you get some of the newer items that will be coming out in the newest expansion pack, so you guys kind of have something to kind of do, just in case any of you guys are bored and want to go ahead and get a head start on Guild Wars, uh, as it is a game that I primarily mostly stream versus covering on YouTube, although uh, we did cover when Guild Wars 1 actually got a new update, and it's just so cool that this game is still, after many, many Many years getting an update as an expansion pack because I've always liked that versus just like smaller updates. I like it when there's a big expansion pack that gets people generally more excited about that. But like I said, there are a lot more things to cover, so that's just basically the like summary of the trailer. Uh, the next thing I want to show off is just some of the, the areas they show off some of the artwork. Um, before the game that they will be implementing in. And I think it looks good. If you guys have played Guild Wars 1, it's like the Shinji Monastery. Um, I didn't see any of the Jade Sea, but hopefully that will also be in the game. And you're seeing right there, they did show off fishing, which we'll show off and uh, talk a little bit more about. Um, there is going to be a multiple player mount which is the siege turtle which they're going to talk about a little bit over here i'm again skimming through this just showing you guys kind of the highlights of uh basically uh what's to come in guild wars new expansion uh but it's going to be a multiple player mount so basically one person looks like they're going to be controlling the cannon and one person will be controlling like the turtle so that's kind of cool uh, at the end of the day just to have any more you know new mounts is always cool and because there's going to be lots of water um there's uh in addition with being able to fish there's going to be these new like boats that you guys can uh, go around and uh, you'll be able to collect fish and stuff with your friends. So this is called Fishing and Skiffs. They'll talk a little bit more about it. But again, I'm just going through this relatively quick because I just want to give you guys a little summary of, you know, what was shown off. But I think it's kind of cool. I'm sure that you'll be able to have some consumables and maybe get super rare things. There's going to be over a hundred of these fish is what they mentioned. So that'll be kind of cool. I know lots of MMOs have this. For me personally, I'm more of a PvP person. But if you could have some maybe challenges with your friends. And, uh, you know, there's always going to be people that want to explore and collect like the rarest fish. So it gives people that want to just relax something else to do. So that's kind of cool uh, as well. Next up, the Generation 3 Legendary Weapon. So they'll show off uh, the artwork on this over here. So here is one of the uh, Legendary Weapons. It has a really cool pullout animation too, um, which you'll see. And you can see all of the other ones. You can see Staff, Great Sword, but it's all in that same sort of uh, theme, which is from the uh, Dragon. Uh, so that's cool as well. And they show off like kind of the workings of it, but I'm not gonna go too long into it because I want to show off like a lot more. Now there is also gonna be a new guild hall, which reminds me if you guys played Guild Wars 1 where you'd have that training ground, there was that like area for to, to test DPS or technically the same thing exists in Guild Wars 2, but I really liked it in Guild Wars 1. I like the aesthetic of it where they would like increase your movement speed. It was just really cool looking. So uh, seeing the guild hall kind of reminded me of that a lot. Uh, but that's uh, basically the new guild hall. They'll probably show off a few more like screenshots over here. I'm just gonna, again, fast forward through it so you guys can see more. And uh, what's really cool is you won't even have to leave the uh, guild hall if you want to just participate in fishing. So you can grab some of your buddies and just uh, maybe even have some PVP in the new uh, area. So that's just a summary of that. Now, what I'm most interested in, what I think a lot of people are interested in, is the new elite specializations. So, uh, what's cool with this, this is actually going to be the uh, Virtuoso. It is for the Mesmer. Now, what's interesting with this is there's going to be no clones with this specialization, which is going to be very interesting because that's kind of the highlight of the Mesmer. But instead, what you're going to do 
and they'll show it off in the gameplay over here, is you're gonna be building up these blades. So when you use some of your skills, you'll be able to build blades. There's one that you can channel and it'll build your blades, but good luck doing that against a, a player that's good at PvP, you're definitely getting interrupted. But nonetheless, it's a channel ability to just fill up your blades and that kind of explains some of these skills. Uh, I'll let this one kind of play out a little bit longer, uh, but I really like the other elite specializations because basically what it allows you to do, for those of you guys that are maybe just checking out this for the first time, so in Guild Wars 2, you basically basically have like your class and you can almost think of it kind of like a subclass because some of these change up your skills completely it will change up what you can wield as like your weapons um and in guild wars uh to kind of your weapons kind of are tied to basically your skills like you you do still have the option to change not only your weapon but some of the skills and your elite skill as well um but this heavily changes up your play style of the character so you'll be able to see like they can throw these blades out and then they'll return and again you're going to start building these extra stacks and you'll see them on your character on the, like the top like kind of near their shoulder like the top right and the top left you can see like the amount of blades built up so you know like when someone is going to try to like full combo dps you. Um, there's a skill that does an insane amount of damage, but uh, you'll probably have to follow it up uh, after you do something to like root the enemy in place or immobilize is what it's called in Guild Wars uh, 2, but uh, it does an insane amount uh, of damage over here. So you can see you can fall, uh, fire like a volley of blades over here. It just shows off some of the newer skills. This is the only one that they showed off, but there are more that actually kind of got revealed. And I'll uh, give you guys that spoiler alert, by the way, um, of some of the other specializations. They will have a beta, by the way, that will let us test out all these specializations very, very soon, uh, just in a couple weeks over here. And they're gonna have multiple different beta phases and uh, it will be free to participate even as a free to play player um, because Guild Whereas technically the expansion packs you do have to buy, um, but you can still participate in PvP. And like, if, for those of you guys that are wondering, like, is the game pay to win? Uh, don't worry about that. Like, you can buy cosmetics to definitely make your character look a lot cooler. Uh, but for the most part, like, it, you're not going to be buying damage like you can, and maybe some other MMOs. Just in case any of you guys were worried about that. Um, but if you guys have not played Guild Wars 2 before, it's an awesome experience. I've I've played and streamed the game for many many hours. And if you guys haven't played Guild Wars uh, at all, now's probably a good time as well, as there's going to be a lot more players interested in not only starting the game because they want to get a head start uh, on the new expansion, but there's going to be a lot more people just like playing the game in general once you know there's hype built up uh by of course the expansion uh, announcement um and if you guys do want to download it i do work with the company i'm a partner and if you guys want to download it i'll have a link down below in the pinned comment as well as the description and it'll get you guys started it just really helps me out as well if you guys use that link um uh, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. One of the abilities does knock the enemy off, so if you're uh, playing on some of those maps, uh, you can knock your opponents off. That's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but you can see also uh, some of the others. Because this skill, look at the amount of damage that that skill does. But again, more than likely, in a real player versus player scenario, they're going to move out of the way. But for some of the, maybe the raids and fractals, uh, you know, those kinds of things, that can be kind of cool as well. So that's basically the virtuoso over there with uh, those new skills. And then uh, important things, uh, so release date right here and uh, what you can actually purchase. So standard edition is 30 bucks. And then you can see that you do get a uh, new mount. Uh, the new Raptor mount looks really, really cool. It looks like a little dragon over there. You also get a new like uh, boat uh, for... Uh, you to go around with and then the there's another edition uh, that does come with more gems and some of the stuff you will be able to access immediately and uh, that is the release date it doesn't have the exact day but it's February so it's uh, gonna be you know obviously next year and then other content that I found uh, that I just want to share with you guys via reddit over here because uh, they also show off one of the other specializations kind of but uh, this is like the pullout animation of one of the uh, newer oh hold on, let's play it again because it just looks so cool there we go. And we have also like the weapon trail. This is for the, uh, well, this is kind of some of the summary over here, but the new legendary uh, weapons, uh, that's basically, you guys saw it in, in the uh, gameplay uh, as well when I was just showing off the trailer. But in addition to that, um, they did have a teaser and a lot of people are saying this is the new Necromancer one. I mean, it hasn't officially been confirmed, but that's kind of what it looks like. It could be Enge as well, um, but that's pretty cool. And, like some people are memeing, this is the new Necromancer specialization. Everyone's got a gun. I think that's hilarious and I just wanted to share that one. But there's gonna be nine new elite specs um, and we don't know, we don't have official names on these, but we do have the icons and I'm really excited about this one. It looks like some type of dual wielding, maybe katana. That's really awesome. If you guys remember, like you could get like as a green weapon, you could get Shiro's Blade back and even in Guild Wars 1. And I'm hoping that they kind of do something with that as well. 
you know, obviously sure was was in Guild Wars uh, 1 as well. And some people are kind of speculating, and I, and I like this, you know, I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think some of these uh, new elite specializations are going to be. And I thought this guy kind of nailed it. So we have the Kunai, uh, a, a dagger throwing that's a virtuoso. Then we have a forest creature mask, which might be some type of... Um, druid one uh, that he edited over here but yeah that looks like what it's going to be and then we have a dual wielding maybe sword thief for this one in which yeah i could definitely see that as well and then we have the flame which is some sort of like elementalist and then the mask a samurai maybe some type of like oni warrior kind of a thing that would be definitely something that i think it just says maybe revenant but i think that that gives us an idea and then we obviously know that there is something related to a god maybe a gunslinger necromancer that's going to be pretty cool as well and then um by process of elimination uh last one over there he's mentioning necromancer this one looks like it could be also a flask it does look like an eye but i could also see it being like a, a grenade or a flask or a potion so maybe eng as well but that one may be guardian we'll have to wait and see again it's just like you know when there's something announced everyone wants to just kind of speculate on what it's going to be and then um I was also just kind of browsing Reddit, uh, and I did see this, which was really important. If you guys are Prime members, there is something that you can claim, and I'll just link this down below. If you guys are Amazon Prime members, there is in-game content that you guys can access uh, right now. But I'm curious to know, you guys, uh, what you think of the new uh, Guild Wars uh, announcement. I'm really excited about it, as uh, Factions was really cool. I kind of want to just talk a little bit more about things while I go ahead and just roll this in the background. It's just the uh, Guild Wars trilogy visual soundtrack. But I'm really excited about it. They didn't mention, by the way, this is the things that I was really excited about. They didn't really talk about too much about PvP other than World versus World. I'm hoping they add some more structured PvP. If you guys back in the day remember for Aspenwood uh, from Guild Wars 1, that was one of my favorite things to go ahead and do. And there's also that uh, mode where you would have to like collect the uh, the jade. There's the turtles running around. There was a lot of cool things in Guild Wars 1 that I hope transfer over. I mean, they already are bringing back the uh, turtles. So that will be cool to see uh, if that's going to be implemented in some sort of PvP. PvP, like a special mode, not like the base mode, but I think it would be really cool to have a mode where you like, uh, you know, like for Aspen with that was one of my favorite forms of PvP, even though it wasn't like super competitive and sometimes it took a long time to get a match because uh, it just, you know, wasn't the most popular uh, over a longer period of time when, you know, uh, things changed in the game but that mode specifically i think it'd be cool maybe as like a weekend mode or just another alternate uh way to play pvp that would be really cool it'd be really cool to also have like the jade c return i like the idea of factions specifically like the kurzik and Loxon. there's a lot of cool things and uh hopefully that will kind of make a return also argo that'd be cool if he made some sort of appearance uh in the game uh coming back in some sort of way That'd be cool as well, but uh, definitely remember a lot of uh, Guild Wars uh, 1. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and pretty much wrap up my video. Uh, let me know, guys, again, uh, your thoughts on it. And if you guys are new here and do want to see it, I will be covering it as hopefully I'll be able to cover some sort of things a little bit earlier, perhaps. Um, as I'm a partner of Sunimus, we do get early access to the stage server, and I'll give you guys info on it if I'm allowed to do so. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you're new or do want to see more Guild Wars content, as I will also be live streaming it like I do every single time when there's a new Guild Wars expansion, we play it over on the live stream. And then if there's any like really cool highlights for some PvP, I'll try to upload them to my YouTube as well. But anyways, take care, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.